okay guys so welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be more about me ranting talking about certain things that has been going on on the social media platform or the panasonic community so this is something that a lot of people have been talking about even way before i got myself a panasonic camera and i feel like as a content creator it's it actually bothers me somehow because i mean now i'm into this ecosystem and since I'm in there, I mean, Panasonic rumors or whatever that happens also affects me in some ways. So before we start with this video, I'd like to apologize because I'm out here nowhere. I don't even know where I am, but I'm outside and you might hear some bit of background noise and some chickens and animals screaming all the way. Apologies about that. So when it comes to Lumex, you guys do know that uh, they don't normally release like how other uh, camera communities or other camera manufacturers release the, uh, the equipment or gears. Lumex, you know, when it comes to Panasonic, they do release gradually. Let's say um, they release today, they're going to release another one probably in, in the next two or three years. And that is something that I love. I'm not going to say it is a disadvantage because in that way, it actually helps creators to, to um, focus more on the gear that they have instead of trying to rush for the new technology in the market. So that is something that I love. And, you know, compared to other manufacturers like Canon, Nikon, let me even leave Nikon out of this, Canon, Sony's, those guys tend to release every second. I mean, you might buy the R5, you get home, there is a R19. I mean, it's, it's very common. You guys do know that. So this is quite frustrating because I feel like the Lumex communities are not supporting creators that much. I might be wrong somehow, but I stand to be corrected. I mean, these guys have been in the game for quite some time. And when you tend to think of it, you'll be like, okay, wait. But Panasonic even started... I mean, even way before some of the manufacturers or even if they started alongside with some of the manufacturers, but what happened? They are not even out there. They are not even getting the, 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 the publication or publicity or they are not even getting the reach that other camera manufacturers do have. And I tend to think about it. I'm like, okay, wait, but what seems to be the problem? What seems to be the problem? And with regards to the research that I've done, it seems like Panasonic do not even care. It seems like Panasonic only give you um, they, they are focused or they give you the attention only when you have the numbers. And even if you have the numbers, sometimes you need to struggle to go extra miles to get the attention or... I mean, let me just put that aside. Of late, there have been uh, some camera meetings and a whole lot of um, embargo thing that happened in Japan. Most of you guys do know that a couple of creators were invited to this particular meeting to come um, experience or witness the new uh camera system which they were about to release which is currently out in them i mean out now i'm talking about the s5 mark ii and the x5 uh x those cameras they had a meeting in japan and some of the creators were called they didn't invite all the creators and if you look at the numbers you can see no what is actually happening this is very less i mean compared to other camera manufacturers if ever they are hosting an event you can see multiple numbers i mean people coming in huge numbers and that is something that tends to bother me a lot because as a Panasonic user, sometimes I tend to sit down and be like, okay, wait, is there a future for this particular manufacturer? From the look of things, one day you might be there and then things might turn around and be like, no, Lumex no longer exists. They are no longer making uh, products. What is the problem? What is the problem? And that's the question that I keep asking myself. My apologies along the presentation, I had a business call which I couldn't resist. I'm very sorry about that. Let's get straight into it. So let me drop this and get straight to Panasonic. I think to get straight to the point or to summarize everything, I'll have to pinpoint this to um, Panasonic being a little bit choosy, okay? Um, I really love Panasonic. I really love the, uh, I mean, cameras. I really like the gears that they produce out there. It's a nice brand, especially with the new implementations that they have currently uh, set on the market right now. A whole lot of people are praising them because, I mean, this is not something that they used to do before. This is something new. And I feel like Panasonic has come a long way, all right? They've come a long way to, to actually be, be uh, debating with other manufacturers right now. Where Panasonic is supposed to be is not where they are currently. And this is simply because they are not giving creators chances. They are not giving creators... Um, I mean, the, the, the advantages for them to shine. So sometimes you may see that, okay, there is this particular embargo or there is this particular unit circulating among creators. You may find out that, okay, this person has been reviewing a lot of Panasonic gears. But what happened? This person does not have the, the gear. 
we're talking of someone who has been praising Panasonic for ages. And I can give names. I can give a whole lot of names. I mean, a creator by the name YC Imaging. YC Imaging was a, a huge Panasonic fan and the guy has been using Panasonic for ages. I can't even, I mean, the guy started from, I think the GH4, the GH5 with music videos and uh, he ended up switching. He ended up changing ecosystem simply because um, Panasonic was really not um, giving him uh, I mean, the, the support or the push or the reach. I mean, you guys do know that Kenan and Sony is when they really want to push uh, items to creators for reviews. I don't think they look more into um, subscriber count and views and all that. But with Lumex, it goes all the way to viewing your subscribers, to viewing your reach. And, and that seems to be a problem because even the two views or the two subscribers of a Lumex uh, creator you never know how far that may go. So I think that is something huge that sometimes Lumex messes. And it tends to bother me a lot because as a creator or as someone who has got my hands on the Lumex ecosystem right now, I'm also into Lumex now. I started using their brand and I'm, I'm planning to invest more into their gear. So if this is happening, it is going to be a huge problem. I mean, for, for, for us creators and a whole lot of creators that are actually in support or wanting to get into the panasonic ecosystem a whole lot of people i mean when it came to this new um review of the s5 mark ii a lot of creators were not even given the chance to attend this meeting or they were not even even to the extent that creators reached out to them and they were still rejected we're talking of uh, the likes of uh, luca there is a creator by the name luca he also does a whole bunch of panasonic videos and i've been watching the guy he's been doing great he's been taking a whole lot of people on this particular um system so why is he not having the gear what happened to him is it because he has lesser subscribers that shouldn't be the case i mean we're also talking of the likes of um a music video director who is in canada he goes i mean his channel's name go by royal visuals or visuals royal i'm not sure i'm going to link it down so you guys can see i'll just post it for you guys to see here these are all the guys that were using this ecosystem these guys were originally i mean the, the panasonic users way back we're talking of the time of the micro four ted so what happened what actually changed and this particular guy even stepped out or came out to announce that no he's no longer using panasonic people have been disappointed because of what panasonic is actually doing and it seems crazy but i'm doing this video for for for, for it to reach out there I'm, I'm just hoping they do see it as times goes on it might not be today it might not be tomorrow but i'm just hoping sometime they might see it and understand and come to an agreement that no um trying to put our brand out there we shouldn't look at certain things and sometimes we need to support creators who are i mean i mean real real interested in this ecosystem because sometimes it's not fair you might be using lumex for 10 years you might be someone that really understand the lumex system you might be someone that have a whole bunch of lumex cameras and lenses but being a creator is very hard because you're not getting the support from their company. If the creators are not talking the good side of this particular product or if they are not sharing their real world experience about a particular product, who is going to buy them? Because, I mean, the people who are using them in the real world are not talking about it. But rather someone who uses the ecosystem for a day or two. Those people do not have as much idea as, I mean, the, the actual creators who have been using it. Like I said, I'm hoping lumex do understand and try to find a way around this this is going to be the minor um idea or ranting that i have about panasonic lumex it's been bothering me for quite some time now and i, I mean i didn't even script this i just came to drop the suggestion i just hope lumex changes this factor so please dear lumex if you are watching this do not look at subscriber count or views and i believe things might get better thank you for watching guys i'll see you in the next one